keep pulling up today? Uh, yeah, a little bit sore. There's uh, there's dead ball lunges yesterday. Fired up the glutes a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So going into today, how do you think that's going to affect you know the bike or something like that? Um, hopefully it's a little bit of a you know wake up workout, sort of get the body moving. Bike run, swim's always good for a bit of recovery. So if you can call it that. Um, I'd like to make up a little bit of ground here. Um, I enjoy a run. Um, hope I can make up a little bit of ground on the run and then um, try not to lose too much ground on the swim. That next one, the rope climb thrusters and burpees, that's uh, it's going to be a tough one for everybody. Um, everybody's hands are a little bit, a bit sore after all the rig work we had yesterday, but um, I think those movements sort of suit me a little bit. Hopefully I can do, get some better placings than I did in uh, yesterday. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Feeling, feeling ready. Body's not as sore as I expected it to be. So it's yeah. good. Yeah, it's good. Um, you're in third place. I am. Yeah. At the moment. <laughs> How are you feeling about this event? Yeah, this one should be a good one for me. Um, I enjoy every part of it. So we'll just see what happens. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Got a good group of athletes up here. Everyone's pretty. Yeah, everyone's pretty down to earth and easy to get along with. So it's just been a good time. Good morning, Linda. How are you going? Good. How are you? Good. Thank you. Uh, tell me what's going on. Uh, we're about to do event four. Yep. Which is a bike run and swim. How are you feeling? Uh, all right, a little bit tight, but okay. Cool. Woman of many words. Yep. <laughs> good luck out there. Not too bad. Yeah. Mm, glutes are a bit sore, but other than that, feeling good. I've heard that from a few different people. Yeah. Um, and especially on the, the clean ladder, clean mm -hmm. speed ladder, that was really impressive. Yeah. Did you, how did you feel like for yourself that performance was? Um, I felt pretty good. I wasn't too sure where I'd end up. The first few rounds were not as good as I thought, so I thought it'd be cut out a lot earlier, but I did happen to make it to the final one, so I was happy with that. Yeah. yeah. So I was happy with that. Like, I did a lot better than I thought, so. Cool. Yeah. So you're sitting in the third place. Yes. Um, and um, how do you feel like this event goes for you? Not very good. <laughs> it's like the worst three movements for me in one workout, so it's a bit of damage control here. <laughs> okay, cool. A bit of active recovery. A bit of active recovery. I'm like, the swim will make me feel better after it, so I'm looking forward to the event after. Um, I'm feeling okay. I don't mind these sort of longer, longer events. It's just, uh, I was just talking to Royce before, and it's one of those ones you just don't really know how to go about it because it's so long, you don't know what sort of movement to push hard or pace on sort of thing. So I think I'll just uh, see how I feel going off the bike and then just have some fun on the run and the swim. <laughs> what's, the, what's the strength for you in this, do you think? I'd probably say the run. I'm a, um, I'm a confident swimmer, but I'm definitely by no means fast, but I'm a confident swimmer. Okay. So, uh, so yeah, we'll see how we go. But the bike's probably my, my weakest point okay. in this workout. Sweet, you're, um, you're sitting uh, in the top five, so in fourth position coming into the day. Yeah. So, um, yeah, how does the day look in regards to other events and stuff after this? Um, <laughs> the, the thruster rope climb workout's gonna be very challenging. I think uh, just given with the legs and that and how they're feeling, that's gonna get quite tough. Um, but I'm uh, again, I'm looking forward to it and competing with all these other guys makes it very uh, motivated. So it's, uh, I'll be sweet. How you going? Day two, Day two. EFL. Um, I know, pretty, uh, pretty excited. It's, uh, yeah, it's been really, really cool. Uh, I guess seeing the athletes yesterday throwing down at the, um, uh, the, the speed squat clean ladder was, uh, was really, really cool. Uh, today, this this uh, this try try event um, or this this mock CrossFit try, um, we're we're really excited to see how it goes. Um, I think uh, I can guarantee you the person that won the strength one yesterday will not win the try today. So yeah, look, very very excited to see how this uh, pans out. Um, it's been a great weekend so far. I mean, the athletes have showed great sportsmanship. Um, the the community's really come through. Um, uh, like all of our guys, the volunteers, they are doing an amazing job. Um, yeah, it's just, it is so awesome to see us uh, running an event uh, to, this, to this high standard.
It got better. Yeah. Like, the, first, the first lap was like Oh man, I was death. breathing on every oh. stroke. And then I got to 50 and I was like, just Run breathe in. every yeah. third. And I was like. Oh. The run was super easy. Yeah. So flat. Nice it was, yeah. yeah. And then literally it's so flat. Compared yeah. to like the 1600s that we do at the gym. And the swim was just nice. Right. Yeah. Hard, quite easy. Top three finish, how was that? It's pretty good, pretty yeah. happy with that. Yeah. yeah. Passed a few people on the swim. Yeah. Is that, was that your game plan? You knew you'd be good in the water? Yeah, I have like a swimming background, so I knew that. If I just took it stabbing on the back and around, I'd be able to catch it. Gonna push out and swim. Did I get it? <sighs> um, I just, oh me. I just, uh, I knew I was all right. I just really wanted to win a freaking event. How was the push? How was that push at the end? Did you just? I knew I, I knew I can swim 50 meters in a minute. I just really wanted to get that win. <sighs> <laughs> he takes third place to the men. So, yeah, Jakey. for Jake. Yeah, Jake. Taking out fourth place in this event. Well done, buddy. Nice, Jake. Man, it's nice, man. That was way out of here. 30.04. Yeah, Roy. 30 minutes and four seconds. Roy. Oh, that's a. Oh, yeah, yeah. Breathing every four stroke works at the start. We need to have every second. 1331! Made up some places on the swim. How's the plan? <laughs> Didn't want to run too hard and blow my heart rate out. Just trying to stay steady on the swim and just manage that fatigue, shoulder fatigue. Hold on. Good, bro. Good shot. Good job. I won. Yeah. I was, I'm stoked about that. My legs hurt. Yeah, good. Your legs, okay. how's your shoulders? Oh, my legs are my tries. Okay, oh, Killing right now. 
So, I was really nervous about that one, so I'm happy that that's over. But, that was just hard. So hard. You did well, man. You're off the bike pretty quick. I just, like, just took that through. I was looking for Henry. When Henry beat me in off the, um, off the run, I was just like, Can we just grab people and start putting the use? Please don't let me. Please don't let Henry get me because I knew he was like two points behind me in the leaderboard, so I was like, I saw him sign down the pool, I was like, I got him now. Had to hold on. Yeah. He's not even. Oh, I think it must have been the half a bag of strawberry creams I had beforehand. All the energy. Yeah. That's what made me feel good, I reckon. Oh, that was hard. Hey. Hello. Hey, mate. I'm fine now that it's finished. Yeah. I'm on the run. Yeah. <laughs> first off the bike. First off the bike, first off the run. Doesn't count for anything. Because I came like, I think six in my heat. It was good, I executed my plan. It just didn't work out. Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. So. Hey, what's this next event look like for you? Yeah, good. I enjoy heavy thrusters and I enjoy rope climbs, but just see how their weekends sort of impacted everyone. And yeah, yeah, yeah I think it's sort of a bit of a recovery game by that event. Yeah. Yeah. Should be good. I'm yeah. looking forward to it. Yeah, cool. Personally, yeah. I felt really good on the first two parts and then I guess probably lap three of the swim. Heart rate just started jacking. Um, yeah. Yeah, just the just the burpees were um, way more of a spanner than I thought. Jack the heart rate, get back in the pool, sort of hard to find a rhythm. I don't normally enjoy swimming, but it broke it up ten times. So yeah, good one. Something to practice in training. Yeah, um, oh look, that was awesome. Uh, I said uh, I said to the crew yesterday that um, uh, I thought that whoever won the the ladder yesterday um, wouldn't win the swim today, and it was true. We saw a young young athlete come through, uh, two young athletes, sorry, um, just with ripping fast time. So uh, it was really really good to see. And yeah, like the the goal was always to uh, create a very test. You know what I mean, create a broad a broad test that really tested all the components of fitness and and didn't. Suit one type of athlete. Um, you mean a lot of a lot of a lot's been talking about about the workouts and and look, they are hard. These workouts are hard. But you mean when there's ten thousand dollars up for grabs, when we when we stated that it's going to be at this standard, um, do you know I mean the price you have to pay. These are hard workouts, but they're intentionally hard. You know what I mean if you want to be one of the top athletes, you got to be uh, be prepared to work this hard. Yeah, and they, they are fighting. They are. Oh, it's so good to see like you're seeing athletes just just leaving everything on the floor or in this situation leaving everything in the pool and yeah I mean there's nothing left they're now going back regrouping um, trying to do what they can to be ready for the next one so that's uh, that's pretty cool to see
good. A good workout for me. But heavy bar, it never really, never really felt any different for me until the 80. And then it was just mostly like, just like gas, like uh, intra abdominal pressure. Like just feel like you're just collapsing in the squat, just so tired from the, from the week, from the weekend. So the 80 was like, I thought, I was planning to go nine and broken. I was like, just go. Because the six babies is nothing in three rope climbs. It's literally 20 seconds of hurt. But I got to five and I thought, mm, nah, I've got a lead. No one's close. J Jake won't go unbroken, so I was like, just take a break. At that point in the workout, you know, where it's like, if there was a race between me and someone, maybe I'd go there, but you kind of know, like, I worked hard enough at the start. Basically, I worked hard enough at the start that I could earn myself a moment of you were in control stepping back at the end there yeah you were so. in control so that was good man like the road climbs were nothing to me every round i thought do the first three sprint like sprint the first three then take stock normally i didn't need more than like 10 seconds of breathing to be like all right another three another three so on that, that felt great good good one i really thought i'd be so cooked from fantasy land like the thrusters would just annihilate me yeah but you know like any wad just three two one go the blinders go on and I, I felt nothing. Yeah, just the just the rope climbs. I um we use I have a long rope at home. Just short one is just I just don't have I don't have good control. I don't have an efficient clamp. Yeah, it is so that's just something I gotta work on. Um, but all in all I don't like thrusters and uh, just it's been a big weekend. I've made I think I made up a few spots, so I'm happy with that. Guys, hey. Ouch. Oh, let's do it again. You're in the pain cave. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah, that was really good. Did, 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 did. You were really struggling there at the end, Jake. Yeah, man, that was so hard. You wouldn't know it. So hard. Yeah. Right. All right, four arms were going by the, by the rep. Thanks, mate. So, okay, that was, yeah, I don't want to do that again. I was actually most keen for that workout, and I take all that back right now. <laughs> that was way worse than I thought. Yeah. I just thought it was going to hurt, and it did. Those people are so hard getting up off the ground. Excuse like, your way, you like that. <laughs> <laughs> I got a cut, bro. I got a cut. Yeah, no, it was, um, getting up off the ground, that was just, that was difficult. So. Put some more points on the board. So. Only, other, only other person other than Royce to finish that workout, so. Yeah. I'm going to go sit down. I'll put him in the ice bar or something like that. Oh, oh, oh. Is that? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh. How's that, buddy? Yeah, that's good. My right one is literally just from um from grabbing with my right first. It's like one, two, and I'd always do two pulls on the right. Yeah. Hey. Once again, here we go. Know the name, know the flow. Turn me up a little more. I'm setting traps, I'm alone. You know you whack, I'm a maniac. Boy, you know I'm black to the bone. Pick a place, pick a date. I go go cool, pick a low. Thought you was good, huh? Take you out back, drag you through the woods, huh? Thought I was weak, huh? You ain't see the work I put in all week, huh? Give me that, where the city at? Nitty gritty, this ain't gonna be pretty, Jack. Not afraid, get up out the way. Y'all used to hate, look at what you made. When it all goes down, I'ma run this town. Fire in my soul, got my eyes on the ground. I can't help myself lately, can't turn myself down. I'm in love with you, baby, but I let you down. I can't die in this town. I won't die in this town. Hold up, homie, let's wait a minute Lately, y'all ain't even pay no visits I can still hear the hated critics Saying he ain't gon' make it, is he? Lately, I developed laser vision Yeah, I burn through people in their cruel intentions Crazy, you tryna pay me? Boy, you ain't even make a scrimmage Get your ass up and pass up the limits Got these new rappers looking finish All I really do is eat spinach Count money up and hang with pretty women I was driven, yeah, I had the vision Then cool, came along and made a vision Haters living cause we really living I'm a freight train, you are hundred seven if you pick a mission and you stay committed, stop transmitting And you really listen, you'll see that big collision, just a big transition 
When it all goes down I won't die in this town As a coach and programmer, I'm not surprised. <laughs> I demand only the best. No, yeah, I, I, will get there, she starts training with us. Yeah. <laughs> I honestly thought that I was really unfit, so to like come away from the win was Pleasure, pretty man. Good. Nice to have I mean, you're always like, you don't know what you're going to expect when you come here. Like, or to any competition, you don't know what girl is out there. So, like, Riley had even, I had no idea who she was. And she, like, she for, smoked it. She for so a 19 year old girl. She was so good. Like, so close as well. Yeah. She's riding. And also, in Oh yeah. my god, that was so impressive. Those are all teenagers. It's Hi. teenagers and masters. I was like, and I need to get out of the sport now because so, they're coming. It sucks that there's not a lot of women that like want to do RA because it is quite hard and, and yeah, yeah. Get beat down, down on your body and everything. But um, no, they really impressed me, especially Friday. Like Simone and I had a deal that we were just gonna go one for one. And no, then I couldn't we, hold it. I but she couldn't hold, hold it. it. I, was, so, I was useless. So this is kinda, the most amount of exercising I've done in like four months. Yeah. I thought I wasn't going to be able to stay upside down because I was so spinal. I, I was like, like basically like that the whole way, like barely staying in a handstand. Yeah. Short arms. Long arms good for handstand. We can get more distance per bike. Congrats, Royce. Thank you. Nice. Appreciate well it. earned. Well earned. Thank you. Uh, um, fought them all off, as you were saying. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Jakey was obviously the big, the big uh, contest coming in. I knew that he's like a real up and comer. He's done really well at, at, um, at Down Under, and I, I'd imagine if Regional was still around, he would have made it probably this year. So he's he's definitely a contender, and I don't know exactly how old he is, but I, I'm pretty sure he's a bit younger. 20. Yeah, 20. So for him, it's just like just the the endurance, the base, like just the years under his belt. Like when he's been doing CrossFit for four or five years, he'll be he'll be a full. He's just, he's just a lot of raw talent, but he's not been doing it that long. Um, yeah, he's, he's, not, he's not old and jaded and, hate, and hating the game like me. Uh, so, yeah, he was, it was a good battle with him. Like, never really knew I was safe until I was safe. You, know, you can't, you can't ever assume because there's just so many good boys out there that can, that can come out of nowhere. You just don't know. And what about like the caliber of athlete that turned up? So we had some guys from Townsville, from Gladstone. Um, it, it, honestly, it was good. I was, I was having a winch of the girls last night about how. Like there's just there's more depth in the guys feel like I, I had to work a bit harder on every ward like I watched the girls go like oh yeah five rounds will be good and then I had to do six to win it like because the guys are just hungry they're just coming they're just rolling the push so um, yeah it was awesome it was definitely not an easy win by any means I will I honestly I will yeah I was talking to Anthony about it and, and next year I'd love to come up again with a, with an even bigger group of people from Brizzy and um, you know Swanee and CJ were kind of they were the interest was peaked they just didn't just didn't line up for them but I'd love to come up here with a, with a few more boys from Brizzy it was it was a great event honestly like I mean it was it was a classic beat down like old school CrossFit just like crush your soul with the workouts but uh, in a way I don't mind that sometimes you know it's good to have that a bit of that mongrel comp every now and then where it's like survival of the fittest and um, it makes for a good training weekend I'll have I'll have a few days off now and I'm, I feel like I'll come back from my rest fitter because I had a good weekend of fitness and yeah a great venue Sean's a like a legend he's a real good dude and I had a really good time I love Rocky it's got a great vibe just it was such a crew like you get anywhere you want good restaurants honestly it's like being in a small part of Brisbane so really, really big fan of the event like, Rockhampton is the Australian cookville the Australian <laughs> cookville yeah country vibes wow. full of good people good athletes yeah good, a yeah, good athletes honestly yeah I, I hadn't I didn't really it didn't dawn on me until like a few days ago, that <clears throat> before I got here, that yeah, Jake was from Central Queensland. I always just assumed he was from the Gold Coast for some reason. Um, but yeah, I got some good athletes out here. What was your favourite event? Hmm. I 
actually, honestly, for me personally, I, I love the first event, the sandbag. I do a lot of sandbag stuff. It's fun. To, it's fun implement to use, and I was especially proud of myself for that one because it was it was relatively high volume of handstand push-ups against some people who are quite good at handstand push-ups. So I was proud of my performance there. I knew I could take advantage on the heavy, so like it was it was a well balanced workout that the little guys would, would struggle on the heavy part and vice versa. But I was still proud that I was able to my handstands outdid the little guys' sandbag. That makes sense. I, think I was able to overcome that deficit for myself. So that's training paying off, working on that weakness. Well, good luck. Can't wait to see you compete at Torian and, Thanks, uh, and see how you go in the open. And yeah, I've heard a lot more if I want to keep rich, make Rich proud. <laughs> uh, it'll be good. Yeah, awesome work. Thanks so much, Levi. Hey! Hey, mate. Hey, mate. How are you done? So glad to be done. Congrats. Thanks, bro. Royce was really impressed with you. I was, um, I was looking over and, man, yeah, it's Sean o. I didn't know what to believe though, because Sean I said, Sean I was like, Will's caught Jake. I look over and his judge had four fingers up, and I was like, I got one left. Like, <laughs> so I wasn't sure when he was saying, Jake's catching voice. It was, was just like, all talk, like usual. Yeah, just hyping up, just the hype man. So, it was good. I was happy with that. My my grip was in trouble. Like, that was, clean and jerks felt like they were like 110. So, super happy. You just pushed it. You just pushed it. was really impressive. Uh, especially in the event before you, I was worried after the previous event that you were going to just fold, uh, like, or that you would have nothing left to give. Uh, how do you feel like that, that all, like, rounded out for you? Just had to get it done, eh? Had to get that last one done. I knew once that was done, I ain't doing anything tomorrow, so... <laughs> I think Sean has stitched me up and put me on the 5.30 a.m. class though, so it's going to be, yeah, I will get an early wake up, but at least I won't have to do anything. It's only, it's only 3 o'clock, you can go to bed in a couple of hours. I'm going to bed at 5 p.m., bro. <laughs> Overall, yeah, big what, was, stake. what was your, um, you've competed in pretty much every elite fitness league prior to this? Pretty much, yeah. I've, I've had a bit of a break, so I missed the last one because I was on holiday, and then the one before that, the individual one, I helped Sean out with it. Um, but yeah, that one was like the, the first one that I really wanted to go competitive in, so I'm, yeah, stoked with that, and can't complain, being behind a next CrossFit Games athlete, like, I'll take that. Was it a good experience? What we, like, just talk about that, maybe what you favorite workout was? Yeah, it's a good experience. Like, um, the workouts are nothing but hard, so it's um, not as if we got let off easy on the way. Even the clean ladder, like, I was smashed after that, so it's, um, it was a mad experience, and it's just good to see how we have things like this in central Queensland. Like, you'd expect the big sort of comps to be down south, so having something like this in central Queensland, hopefully in future, attracts more and more people like Royce, like April, like Simone, to come up and, um, and kind of mix and throw it down with everyone else. So. You definitely made Royce earn his money. <laughs> they do at the end. I was like, I almost had you. I was like, I say that every workout, but I actually kind of almost had you there. <laughs> he, so. he had to push. He had to push. What was your favorite event? Um, I love the clean, the clean obviously because I like the lifting, but I like the first one, the first one on Saturday with the dead bull. That was probably the, the funnest one overall. Um, out of, yeah, that one made my butt the sorest. That's probably where I'm so sore right now, I can't even sit down hardly, but yeah, that was fine that one. Sick. Get us proud. Thanks, bro.